Okay, it's been a minute. What do IT auditors do? Well, let me just walk you through a normal audit. precious reality my name is precious for those of you who guys who don't know and you are watching serious talk with precious <laughs> oh my gosh i haven't been here in a while finally i decided to redo this video because you know i felt like the first one was a little bit longer than i wanted it to be and yeah it was just all over the place so i am not, i was not quite confident with how i was getting the points across but we are back and we're doing it again and this time around we are posting it <laughs> i pray i pray i pray i post this one so hopefully i like it and it makes sense to me so then i can post it so today we're going to be talking about it auditing i mean if you're in varsity still trying to figure out what you want to do um maybe this is for you maybe look into this okay yeah so if already you know what you want to do but you're not quite sure like how a day in the life looks like what the actual job entails like what do actually what do it auditors do you're not sure you want to be this it seems interesting and but you're just not sure like how they do their job you know you just know high level yeah so this is the right place to be please stay tuned and you will get all of that information so before we, f we waste any more time uh let's get right into it I'm going to give you guys uh, the knowledge based off of what I know. Um, I was an IT auditor at a big four for one year and 10 months. And I can assure you that during that period, I have learned so, so much. So I'm currently, I am in compliance audit, not IT audit. But that's not that's a story for another day. So this video is not about compliance. This video is about IT auditing. So what do IT auditors do actually? Like you're so interested, you wanna know like what y'all do, what y'all do. Okay, it is a lengthy explanation that I need to do, but I'm just tr gonna try to summarize it. And please, please, I just have a disclaimer. I do not know everything about IT auditing. I have one year almost two years experience i can share with you what i know and what i have done not what i haven't been exposed to but i can share with you what i have been exposed to and what i know what i understand and and everything like that so if you if you are, are watching this video and you feel like i missed something please do add it down to the comment section and yeah we all gonna learn and stuff so it auditors deal with systems so for those of you guys who don't know there is a thing like it's a certification it's called CISA so it means certified information systems auditor so it's all about information system so an information system can be a system any type of a system like an application we don't only just deal with applications we also deal with operating systems we also deal with databases right so we we test controls on three different layers right so we have the application we have the database and we have the operating system i'm sorry if i'm not making sense i feel like my explanation is already all over the place but please try to get as much as you can from this i'm just going to share with you guys the types of controls that i have dealt with right we have i it general control so these are uh, famously known as itgc's right we have application controls they call them acrs and then we also have technical reviews these are the three types of testing that i've been exposed to and i'm going to go into details on each one of them and 
yeah so let's start with itgc's it general control so it general controls we have uh different types of controls in this category so we test for um like i told you guys we, we test for databases uh, applications and operating systems so it general controls are specifically tested on applications right i want you guys to get this very very clearly so application controls and it general controls are specifically tested on applications right so, so within itgc's we have access to programs and data we have program changes we have uh, program development and computer operations right for access to programs and data we are looking at strictly access how access is granted how it's terminated how access is modified and passwords fall also under access right we look at all of those things i'm just trying to give a high level um of all of these uh controls that we look at and if i have to i'll make a video specifically explaining each domain like we have four domain or groups or whatever you want to call it in itgc's i can make videos specifically explaining each domain so that you guys can understand right but for now i'm just going to give a high level uh, like i said for access to programs and data that's what we look at and then for program changes we look at changes that are made to the applications right and <clears throat> the whole process of change management like how changes are made where the process starts how it ends and then we test that it follows the change management process right and then for program development this is like a whole system development where they start building a system from scratch we have to make sure that they follow the right procedures of building that system and um, like excuse me excuse me so migration is also part of that process right and then we also look at computer operations so for computer operations we're looking at backups uh we're looking at incidents so this is where we have to make sure that the system has backups um if there's a backup failure what happens like what is the process is there restoration is there like you know all those type of things to ensure that the data is safe and always secure so those are the four domains of itgc's which are like which are it general controls right and then we have application controls so uh, for application controls application controls are very different because they are very application specific so let's say for example this is a company and then they use the system to onboard um new employees right we want to test that the system is doing exactly what it's supposed to do that it onboards the users correctly and everything right so application controls are very very um application specific so there are no like general controls or specific controls that we look at but we look at the applications concerning the system the application within i mean the controls within the system so we focus on what does this application do okay does it do this does it do that does it do that you know so yeah that is application controls and that is how it differs from it general controls so another thing that i mentioned was technical reviews so technical reviews we have this is where we're looking at the operating system and the database right so we're looking at the operating system reviews and the database reviews so these um controls for operating system and the database are very similar um it just depends on which up um which operating system we're looking at so you know there's windows there's linux and they might all differ depending on the type of operating system that they are as well this applies also to databases sql may be different from oracle so but this the the controls are very similar look so we test the same thing technical reviews which are database uh, controls and OS controls are very similar to IT general controls. We kind of look at the same things, but not on the application layer. We look at these uh, controls, the access controls, change controls, um, um, and the development, not the development, 
we look at the change controls the access controls but this time around we look at those controls on uh, an operating system layer on a database layer so that's the only difference on the OS and database they are called technical reviews um, on the application they are called IT general control so it's just they're very similar they kind of we have the same goal we want to see that the database people um, how people get access to the database and who can who can edit who has privilege access to this database you know and stuff like that so we kind of look at the same controls but on a different layer um and that is it on what i've learned since i started with it gen it audit sorry <laughs> yeah so that's all that i've learned that's all that i've been exposed to let me just walk you through a normal audit I haven't been exposed much to planning but the first thing that we'll do is planning so in this planning what I've been exposed to most is um, walkthroughs so we will have a walkthrough with a client so a walkthrough is when we have this meeting with a client to understand the business process to understand what the application is all about what controls we're looking at how uh, these controls like which controls are there and see if we can identify any risks and stuff like that so in a walkthrough meeting we're actually talking to the client okay this is the application at hand please take me through um, how a user is granted access to the application okay the client will take us through that and then we will document that as part of our evidence and walk through and then from that walkthrough then we'll go into detail into testing like how i was explaining to you guys the it general controls the application controls and stuff like that so yeah the first thing is we have to do a walkthrough understand the business understand the process understand the application in and out you know the first thing to do is to understand what you're working with because you cannot tell something that you don't understand right so a walkthrough is very very important this is the beginning this is the first stage of any um testing any testing that you need to do <laughs> walk through testing and then you will then do a report you will report your findings send them through to management for for management comments and then before you even conclude that these are findings you have to ask the client okay so this is what i have um when i was doing my testing this is what i came across this is what's happening so please explain why this is that if something is like mm, side eye you have to ask the client first and then they will explain why that is you might find that it's not really an exception so you don't need to raise that finding you might find that it's like all good so yeah guys um i know my explanation is all over the place but i hope that i really i hope that this was very insightful and you know you guys kind of get it or kind of understand what it auditors do uh, i know this is not all they do but this is like the exposure that i've got and i hope that for people that want to go into this i hope that this is a type of vibe that you would like and guys one thing i can tell you is it's really really fun and it's really really interesting so great career choice if you want to do this so yeah guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe if this video was very very helpful thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video bye